Hello everyone and welcome to a new development update for Aquanog's Deep Descent. As you can see, we are working from our homes currently and for this update, we thought to show you some co-op gameplay. Now in Aquanox Deep Descent, we have something what is called a drop-in, drop-out co-op, which basically means that you can join a game immediately and take part in the main story. You can play together with up to three friends and experience the entire narrative together. And in today's video, we will be showing you gameplay from one of the earlier missions in the game. So in this mission, I will be playing together with three other developers. I have two producers, Dragan and Robert, as well as Lubisha, our game designer, joining me in co-op. In Aquinox, there are various ship types available to the player. Because this is a fairly early mission in the game, we have two ships at our disposal. Two of us will be piloting the Shade, which is a more agile recon ship while the other two players will pilot a Morrigan Siege type ship, which is best suited for frontline combat. We have just received a distress call from a faction that is in a quarrel with our current allies. Regardless, we are going out to investigate. It is smart to stay in the back with the ship I'm currently using and only jump in close when finishing off retreating targets. There they are. And they're not gonna last much longer. A8 vessel. This is a capital copy of the big block. Oh, the two We got a real situation here. Any more assistance? Well, we still have our mission to complete, repairing that travel gate for this sector. If you can help us get the necessary parts, we'll work on fixing the damage from that engagement. We absolutely cannot assist them. We're independent operators. We can't be seen aiding a faction. We need to... Did I give you permission to speak for me, Mr. Fletcher? Am I not the captain of this vessel? We have a common goal. Both our ships need to use that travel gate. It would be foolish of us not to combine our strengths. Cryos, you are authorized to obtain the required materials for our AA friends. As for you, Mr. Fletcher, I'm not always a merciful man. Let us discuss your insubordination. Nabila, your thoughts? I think Okabe's right. We have no idea who to trust. And we do have a common goal. I suggest we do as both factions ask and evaluate the situation when we're through this gate of theirs. Okay, let's get to it then. Now that we know more about the rescued Aquanaut, we'll try to help with repairing the travel gate, since it's in our mutual interest to use it and leave the area. Soon enough. But for now, we need to get those parts. Everyone, engage the enemy.
The objective takes us into the belly of a flooded station. Now this is a considerably tighter environment, which presents its own challenges in combat. Even though the station was flooded a while ago, some of the defensive turrets that are usually used to defend the station are still active and because we are intruders we are considered hostile just as the other pirates that are in here with us. always a smart move because you never know where you can find some salvageable stuff or resources and these resources and items can be used to improve your ship or find ammo or get better weapons. the parts. Let's head to this gate of theirs. Maybe this Atlantic Alliance will be grateful to us for helping them. You are naive, Anna. We have merely proven our obedience. You think they're our friends? You think any of the old governments remain? We can't trust any of them. Oh, shut up, Fedor. Lieutenant Clifson seems nice. Sometimes things are exactly what they appear to be at face value. We have cleared the station from enemies, uh, looted and salvaged all the resources and have acquired the repair parts that we need to fix the gate. We will head out. Thank you for watching and I hope to catch you guys in the next Dev Diary.